So here I am, one year later, sitting in front of a blank sheet for hours, trying to create a good story. But the only thing I have so far are crossed out words and discarded sheets of paper. Yes, you are right, I've run out of ideas. I have always wondered, why a script? Why do we need one to show the sea? Why do we need a love story, a legend of pirates, or a message of marine conservation to give the sea meaning? Always thinking about what kind of music will best suit the story and the images. A piano piece showing small and fragile creatures of infinite shapes and colors? Or maybe an epic song would be better, with ravenous species, large shoals, lurking predators. Or choosing a song that makes you all shed some tears. Along with a beautiful story and images that convey the majesty of the blue. But if you really think about it, none of this is totally real. The music of the sea are the bubbles of your regulator. Your partner trying to show you something that he's found. The beep of your timer warning you that it's time to rise to the surface. But apart from that, yes, everything is even better than it looks. And, okay, I won't interrupt this beautiful song anymore, which has been so hard to find. But now, in all seriousness, while I'm underwater with my inseparable companion, I don't think of scripts. I just let myself be carried away by that feeling of calm, disconnected from everything happening up there, sometimes losing track of time while following small creatures I haven't had the pleasure of filming yet. That sense of boundless curiosity before each dive, and above all, of admiration for what surrounds me feeling privileged to be able to experience this underwater world. All these feelings are shared by him. He's not an actor, he's not a mermaid, nor a pirate, nor a lover looking for his dearest underwater. He is my friend and diving partner, whom I enjoy being underwater with without the need for any music or a movie script to accompany us. As you can imagine, this video is coming to an end, and I still haven't told you any kind of story. But I'm not a writer, nor a scriptwriter. I'm just a diver in a world of cameras, podiums, and contests. But of course, one who admires the sea, not only from within, but also from above, where it provides me with magical views like these. And one who, after many years underwater, invites you to realize that in the sea, there is no need for scripts.